In Active Directory, in Windows Server 2016 and previous versions, when we import objects, those objects by default are going to be disabled. So I'm going to show you how to enable them. We're going to go to the Tools menu in Server Manager and go to Active Directory Users and Computers. And we'll go ahead and expand our domain. And let's just pick on the Information Technology OU, although we could have picked anything. So we see a bunch of objects that were imported, and these objects all have an arrow pointing down, and that means it's, it's, uh, the object is disabled. So there's a couple different ways we can enable those. One is we can just right-click on it and choose Enable, and now the object is enabled. But if you want to uh, select a lot of different objects at once, then it's a little bit more difficult. Let's go ahead and disable this one once again, and then we'll go and we'll select all the objects in the group. So if we right click, we notice that we don't see the enable objects option. And that's because security groups can't be enabled or disabled. They're just there. So what you want to do is when you go to select everything, just don't select the groups. Just select computers, select users, select them all by holding down the shift key and using your left mouse button on the bottom option after clicking on the top and then right click and choose enable account. So as you can see here we have the option to disable all accounts at once or enable all at once. Let's go ahead and enable them and we can see all of them are now enabled. Now if you want to enable the entire Active Directory uh, all of the different objects and, and that kind of thing uh, then you can go one organizational unit at a time and do it that way and again just select the computers or the users. The other option is to just go to the very top where we've got Active Directory and click on Find Objects. We'll go ahead and expand that and we'll choose Find Now. So now we can see all of the different objects. Now in, in this particular case they're going to be they're grouped by the type that you see here. So let's go ahead and click on Type so that way we get them all grouped that way and then we can scroll down to past the uh, group area and we can choose to start enabling large amounts of users and computers. This is all users right here, so we can right click and choose enable all of the users. Some objects are not going to be able to be enabled because uh, they're going to be objects that are such as this, um, the objects used by Active Directory itself. So you want to make sure you, anything that says built-in account, key distribution account, you know, that kind of thing, um, just choose the ones that don't have special rights and go ahead and enable them. And look at that, we can do a lot of them all at once. There we go. Right click, choose enable, and we don't get that error anymore. All right, now we can do computers in a similar way. We'll just go ahead and choose computers at the top. We'll say it'll clear our account. That's fine. Click Find Now, and we see all of our computers all at once. And we can right-click and enable or disable at that time. So that is how you can enable or disable accounts, objects, uh, all at once in Active Directory in Windows Server 2016.